the New York Jets. Robert Sala is their head coach. You know, first time head coach, trying to figure this thing out. The New York Jets are not any good this year. You know, they draft Zach Wilson. You know, he's a top five pick. He's supposed to be the guy that's going to come in there, and you're going to get a good look at him this season and try to figure out what you have. No one's expecting the New York Jets to win this season. Zach Wilson comes in, runs around, makes some plays. He ultimately gets hurt. You know, he's battling a knee injury right now. They, they brought in Joe Flacco, you know, as a veteran guy. But also, you got there's a little intrigue with this other young guy, Mike White. And, you know, he's also a young player. And so if the New York Jets, like, you're not really trying to win games. You are, but you'd rather figure out what type of team that you have. All you're really doing is hurting your draft position. You think you have your quarterback in the future in Zach Wilson. Um, but Mike White looked pretty good, maybe looked better and probably did in some limited action, uh, then looked better than Zach Wilson did. And so I, I referenced you back, you know, a handful of years ago, heck, seven, eight, nine years ago, whatever it is now, when the Washington Redskins, they draft Robert Griffin the third, and then they draft uh, Kirk, you like that, Cousins. And it seemed like RG3 was going to be the guy. Ultimately, it didn't work out that way. They got a good look at Cousins, and he ultimately moved on and was their starting quarterback, franchised him twice before he moved on to the Vikings. They understood, hey, we got to take a look at what we have. Starting Joe Flacco this weekend, if you're the New York Jets, and you know Robert Sala coming out and talking about the complicated blitz schemes and coverages of the Miami Dolphins, it does, it does you no good. Throw Mike White in there if he's healthy and he can play. See what he can do. Joe Flacco is not the future of your organization. This is what NFL teams get wrong so often. Like when you're bad, find out what players you have. The young guys, they may surprise you and win games. Older guys, they have a bevy of work that you've already seen and you've already been able to experience. I'm not a hater on Joe Flacco. I just know what he is. And I know that he's not the future of the New York Jets. He's a, a bridge quarterback, but you have to have somebody behind on the other side of that bridge that you feel good about. They think they feel good about Zach Wilson, but he's not playing right now. You have Mike White. Let him get out there. Let's see what he can do. Don't just set him down. You should want to see him in critical games and in big-time moments against a team that may throw a lot of stuff at him. And by the way, that Miami Dolphins defense, it's not like we're sitting here talking about one of the top defenses in the NFL. You know, Miami's not great this year. Their defense is ranked in the bottom half. And maybe it might be complicated, but just become because something is complicated, that doesn't make it better. So New York Jets, Robert Sala, like figure this thing out. You know, Woody Johnson, their owner, he should step in. This is who we're playing. This is the path we're going to take. And I don't like owners getting involved. You have to understand you're trying to build something here. And what exactly are you building? Like you got to figure out what the, the ingredients you have and then what else you still need. And you can't do that by playing Joe Flacco.